Hi, it's Chester Tuckwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. In this video, we're going to look at how to add data within an Excel workbook to the Power Pivot data model. Uh, this method will actually link the data. So you will, when you update your Excel spreadsheet, it will update the Power Pivot version of the data as well. You can actually import data directly into um, Power Pivot, especially useful if you have more data than would fit on an Excel worksheet. And you can also copy and paste data directly into a Power Pivot application. But in this in this video, we're looking at an example where we have several tables worth of data, and we want to be able to create a pivot table eventually uh, where we can relate these bits of information together. So adding them to the Power Pivot application uh, is an ideal solution for us. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is to convert each of these ranges into a table. Now, uh, the Power Pivot application would, would do that automatically for you, but you're better doing it manually because you can give each of the tables a meaningful name, which will be really helpful uh, when you come to manipulating the data later on. Now, to create a table is pretty easy. You just click somewhere in the data and I go up to the insert tab on my ribbon and I've got a little table button here. There is a shortcut key there which is control T. So where is the data for your table? It kind of has recognized the data region there. And my table has headers. You're going to always want to have headers within your table. So that's ticked. Click on OK. So you can see it's made it look quite pretty. I've got a little design tab that's appeared here under a heading table tools. This tab only appears when you've clicked into a table. Click outside it, it disappears. Click back in it, it reappears. So I can give the table a name over here, the table name option there. So this is the product table. So I'll call it product. Now I'm over to the sales table now. And what I'm going to do is I'm also going to convert this to a table exactly the same way. And I'm going to give it a name. I'll call it sales and I'm going to go through each table and do exactly the same thing just converting each to an Excel table so this is called discounts and I can go to region and do exactly the same thing so once they're all converted to tables each set of data is converted to tables I need to add each table to the data model. Very easy to do. I've opened up the, clicked on the Power Pivot tab on my ribbon. I click into the table and I click this little button, Add to Data Model. And this opens up the Power Pivot application. And you can see down here that it's added that data to the Power Pivot application. And that little chain thing there shows that it is a linked table. So if I change information in my Excel spreadsheet, this will automatically update with those updates. So I'm going to do that, the same thing for each of these tables. Add to data model. I'll bring that in on a separate sheet. Back to my Excel spreadsheet. Do the same here. Add to as a separate sheet. Go back to my Excel application and add this one as well. And there we are, I have my four tables added to the data model or the Power Pivot application. Okay, that's all that we're covering in this particular video. Um, hopefully that's been helpful. Uh, there are gonna be more videos on how to use DAX formulas and functions and other things you can do in the Power Pivot application. So check out for those. Okay, thank you very much for listening.